Okay, then everyone is here. I see you. Okay, everyone is here. Can we continue? So, kita dah tengok. Okay. So, kita dah tengok uh, berkaitan dengan hypothesis testing for one population. Awak tengok uh, dia bagi nilai mean sebenar. And then, we would like to know whether the sample taken uh, dan claim kita berkaitan dengan population adakah benar atau tidak. Does it follow maybe the, uh, the, the value given by the question uh, from the population. So daripada situ uh, the extension of the hypothesis testing kita ada hypothesis testing untuk dua population. Okay. Contohnya kalau ada dua jenis kereta. Saya ada kereta jenis Honda dan juga uh, kereta Toyota. So saya nak compare yang mana dia punya katakan dia punya speed lagi laju atau dia punya brake. Okay. Dia punya brake lagi lagi cengkaman dia lagi kuat. Uh, so, daripada situ kita akan ambil testing sample daripada kereta Honda Let's say 30 sample kereta Honda And 30 sample kereta Toyota Yang sama umur dan juga sama mileage So, from there I did the experiment And then uh, tengok dia punya mean break time When the break is push okay. So, daripada situ nanti kita boleh buat compare uh, Adakah mean uh, bagi... Uh, Uh, break time untuk kereta Honda lebih cepat stop daripada kereta Toyota. So that is hypothesis testing for two population for example. Okay. Kita ada dua jenis brand, dua jenis car atau dua jenis uh, anything lah and we want to compare uh, the what we call it, is it greater or is it less or is it the same or is it not the same. These are the type of hypothesis testing that we want to test on the two population. So later on, kalau ada tiga populasi atau lebih, kita akan buat the analysis of variance. Okay. So hypothesis testing for two population. Learning outcomes, at the end of this chapter, you should be able to construct confidence interval for two population mean, perform hypothesis testing, about the difference between two population and perform hypothesis testing about the difference between two population proportion. So basically there are these are two parameter that you are going to learn. First kita ada mean then kita ada dia punya proportion. Okay. P dan juga mu atau x bar or p hat. Okay. So biasanya tu dua benda je yang awak belajar in this subject proportion or mean. Testing on that, these two, uh, these two parameter. Okay. So, kita tengok uh, confidence interval juga. So, for this one, dia akan ikut case 1, case 2, case 3 atau case 4. Still, you have case 1, 2, 3 and 4. But they are a slightly different from the one population. But one population, case 1, case 2, case 3, it will follow the standard normal distribution. But... For this one, case uh, 1, 2 follow standard normal distribution. 3 dan 4, dia akan follow T distribution table. Okay. So, the difference between two population mean, uh, we can say that we would like to take X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Mean for the population 1, for the sample 1 minus mean bagi sample 2. So, and the difference is given by the population punya difference equal to mu 1 minus mu 2. Okay. Mean population 1 minus mean bagi population kedua. That is what we call as the difference between two population mean. So standard division dia, dia akan menggunakan formula. Masa dia tak boleh ni ke? So the standard division is given by okay, uh, sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2 equal to sigma 1 squared 
over n plus sigma 2 squared over n 2. Or standard deviation from sample, the different in standard deviation akan sama dengan S1 squared over N1 plus S2 squared over N2. Okay. Given that the sample are independent. Okay. So this is how uh, you are going to find the, what we call it, the standard deviation for the difference between two mean. Okay, for the first case, case 1, katakan kita nak cari confidence interval for the difference between two mean. Okay, x bar 1 minus x bar 2. So, for case 1, where sigma 1 and sigma 2 are unknown, dia punya difference, dia punya confidence minus x bar 2 plus minus z alpha minus x bar Okay, so this is the confidence interval. So, untuk case kedua, itu are unknown, kita akan guna sample standard deviation as x bar 1 minus x bar 2. So, x bar 1 minus x bar 2 plus minus z alpha per 2 s of x bar 1 minus x bar so, these are the z that mean follow standard normal distribution. Okay. Untuk case 1. Okay. Dan untuk case 2, dia juga akan follow standard normal distribution. That is z distribution for the case 2. Okay, dapat eh? Ni, semua, so far. Get it or not? Dapat, dapat. So, dapat. Okay. So, uh, from here, kita tengok pula apakah dia punya test statistik. Uh, case 1, large and independent sample where you have N1 is greater than 30 or equal to 30. N2 is greater and equal to 30 and sigma is unknown. Okay. Case 2, large sample, N1 greater than 30, N2 is greater than 30 and sigma is known. Okay. So, dua case ni dia akan uh, follow standard normal. Okay. That is Z table. Okay. So, case ketiga, small sample, that is N1 less than 30 N2 less than 30. So N1 less than 30 and N2 less than 30. Uh, sigma is the same for population 1 and population 2. Meaning that sigma 1 equal to sigma 2. Okay. Sama dengan uh, satu nilai sigma. Sebab dia kata sigma is the same for population 1 and population 2. So this one akan follow T distribution. So you are going to make use of T table in calculating the confidence interval and also the hypothesis testing. Okay. So case four, small sample but unequal standard division and it is unknown meaning that N1 less than 30 and 2 less than 30. So from here, sigma 1 uh, does not equal to sigma 2 and uh, standard division for both population are unequal and unknown. Dan kita pun tak tahu. So, ini juga akan follow T distribution. Dia ada beza nanti, eh? case 3 dan case 4 ni. Dia punya pengiraan dekat T distribution tu akan lain. Dekat dia punya this, uh, dia punya test statistik. Dan juga degree of freedom. Sebab T distribution akan ada degree of freedom. So, kita tengok case 1 dan case 2 dahulu yang mana ia follow uh, standard normal distribution. What is the test statistic if you want to run the hypothesis testing for this one? So, hypothesis testing for mu1 minus mu2. Okay. Case 1 large in independent sample where N1 is greater than 30 and N2 greater than 30 with sigma unknown. 
So the test statistic akan sama dengan x bar 1 minus x bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2. Okay. Sigma x bar 1 minus x bar 2. So it will follow z distribution. Yang mana this one akan sama dengan z bagi sigma 1 squared over n1 plus sigma 2 squared over n2. Okay. Also it will follow a standard normal z distribution table. Cing aku betul. Alin! Adik! Jai kelas. Okay, done. So, this is case one. Okay. And then case two, large and independent sample. N1 is greater than 30 and N2 also greater than 30. With sigma is non. So, the test statistic still akan follow Z distribution travel. Yang mana dia akan sama dengan X bar 1 minus X bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by S X bar 1 minus X bar 2. So, it will follow standard normal distribution where you have S X bar 1 ni tadi S1 squared over N1 plus S2 squared over N2. Okay. So, this is the uh, standard normal. Uh, not standard normal, dia punya apa nama? Test statistic. If we want to do the hypothesis testing. So basically step dia adalah sama je kalau nak buat hypothesis testing. First state the null and uh, H null H1. So step dia sama je. Step for hypothesis testing. Okay. So this one is the same. First beritahu apa H null and apa H1. So yang kedua tengok alpha sama dengan apa. Yang ketiga your test statistic so yang ini tengok uh, case 1 atau case 2 atau case 3 atau case 4 okay. so yang keempat tengok dia punya rejection region that is based on your H1 ada tanda lebih kecil atau H1 ada tanda lebih besar atau H1 ada tanda tidak sama dengan one tail atau two tail dan step kelima draw your conclusion so basically the procedure are the same. Yang berbeza dekat hypothesis statement sebab kali ni awak dah ada dua population and also dekat dia punya test statistik. Test statistik awak akan guna Z-test atau T-test. So then dia ada difference either using Z-test atau T-test. So kalau guna using Z-test macam inilah dia punya calculation. Jadi X bar 1 minus X bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by standard division X1 minus X2. So it will follow a standard normal distribution. So nak salin saya bagi salin tiap. Ali, masuk. Tidak ni kok melayu. Tidak ni sami. Kok pergi lo? Ni masuk. Okay, then. Semua. Cik kucing pun bingal pula tak nak tengok kata. Ha, masuk. Ha, apalah kot merayap. Okay, dan lah. So, uh, kita tengok dia punya hypothesis statement. It will be about the same. The difference is only for this one, either you have mu1 equal to mu2 or mu1 does not equal to mu2. This is for two tail. 
Or we can also write it as mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0. Or mu1 minus mu2 does not equal to 0. So ini untuk case 2 tail test. Yang mana dia punya rejection region. Reject H null when Z less than negative Z alpha. Or Z greater than Z alpha per 2. That means. This one, it will become a two-tail test. Awak akan ada rejection region dia dekat belah kiri atau belah kanan. Boleh juga kalau nak guna p-value approach. Okay. So if you are using the p-value approach, kita akan tengok dekat mana nilai p-value. Compare dekat uh, table. Z lebih kecil daripada negative Z alpha per 2 atau so on. Okay. So uh, this is your test statistic here. Yang ada alpha per 2 is Z from table. This is your test statistic. And this is from table of standard normal. Okay. So, untuk the second case is mu1 uh, greater than or equal to mu2 or mu1 less than mu2. Okay. So, uh, this is a one tail test. Okay. Sebab dia ada tanda lebih kecil. So, kita akan... Reject H null when Z less than negative Z alpha. So it will become one tail. The rejection region is over here. Negative Z alpha. Okay. Yaitu belah kiri. This is the left tail. So another one is uh, if we have mu1 uh, less than or equal to mu2 versus the alternative hypothesis mu1 greater than mu2. So it will still become one tail, but it the tail will be on the right. The rejection region is on the right. Reject H null when the test statistic okay, is greater than Z alpha. Okay. Dia based on tanda H1. Eh. Jika H1 awak ni ada tidak sama dengan, dia akan jadi two tail. Kalau ada lebih kecil, dia akan jadi lebih kecil. Kalau lebih besar, it will become like this. Dia punya rejection region. Okay. So dapat eh? So this is the hypothesis testing for the different of mu1 minus mu2. For the different of two population. So the idea is the same from what we have learned in one population. But it is an expansion because this time you have two population that we want to compare. Done with this one. Done. Done. Okay. So, step to perform the hypothesis test, sama je. Step 1, state the null and alternative hypothesis. What is your H null and what is your H1? Okay. Choose a fixed significant level, alpha. Okay. Either your alpha equal to uh, 1, 10%, okay. alpha equal to 10% atau 5% or 2% or 1%. Okay. Kalau dia tak bagi, normally we will take 5%. Okay. 0 0.05. So choose an appropriate test statistic. So tengok case 1 atau case 2. Sebab kita baru belajar dua case ni. So dia akan follow Z distribution. Okay. And then establish the critical region based on the value of alpha. So tengok dekat mana awak punya rejection region. Either one tail or two tail. And from here, make a conclusion and decision. Okay. So, dapat eh? Hari ni. Hari ni kita tengok dia teori and then uh, next week hari Jumaat kita tengok dia punya uh, a lot of exercise I put in there. And also sample from past year question. Saya ada letak dekat dalam slide. Then you can see from there and then nanti masa chapter 5 saya ajar sekaligus. Uh, sebab chapter 4 dengan 3 ni nak guna Excel tak banyak sangat lah. Just one click. Tapi chapter 5 nanti banyak calculation yang akan menggunakan uh, Excel. Okay. 
because chapter 5 you have to do the ADOVA table and so on. So nanti chapter 5 nanti kita ambil terus uh, 2 jam untuk buat Excel sahaja. Okay. So take a look at this exercise. Exercise 8.3. So a car magazine is comparing the total repair cost incurred during the first year and on two sports car, the T triple nine and also the XPY. So you added two brand in here. Satu T triple nine and lagi satu XPY punya sport car. So random sample of 50 T triple nine and 70. Yang ini betul kan dalam soalan 70. Dia bukan lima uh, tujuh tujuh puluh. So, dia ambil sampel 50 kereta T999 and 70 kereta XPY yang mana uh, all this car are 3 years old and have similar mileage. Sebab kita nak buat eksperimen untuk dua jenis kereta. So, make sure sampel yang kita ambil itu adalah sama dia punya karakteristik. Okay. So, in this case, both car, all car from both, uh, both brand are having 3 years old. Okay, and has similar mileage. Okay. So the mean repair cost for the 50 T999 car is 45,000, 4,500 for the first three years with a standard deviation of 550. So for the 70 XPY car, the mean is 500 with a standard deviation of 650. So using 2% significant level, can you conclude that such mean repair cost are less for T triple nine compared to XP Y. So dia nak tengok berapa mean repair costs untuk tempoh tiga tahun. Okay, bagi kereta T triple nine dan juga XP Y. So dia buat dia cakap uh, dia ambil sampel 50 T triple nine 70 XP Y. Then dia kira dia dapat dia punya mean dan juga standard deviation. Okay, mean repair cost dan juga dia punya standard deviation. So using 2% significant level, con can you conclude that such mean repair costs are less for T999 compared to XPY? So kita nak menjawab ke soalan, adakah betul mean repair cost bagi kereta T999 adalah kurang daripada XPY? So first thing first, uh, list down all the information given. Okay. So given two brand of car. T999 and also XPY punya kereta. So N1 berapa? N2 sama dengan berapa? T999 berapa sampel? Oi, tak soalan ni tidur ke? Tu dah pergi serapan. 50. Okay, 50. XPY? 70. Betul. 70. Okay. Uh, X bar 1. Min bagi T triple 9. 4,500. 4,500. Betul. S1. Betul. 550. And then X bar 2 equal to. Berapa X bar tu? 5,000. 5,000. S2. Standard deviation for the second brand. X2 berapa? 650. 650. Okay, betul. Thank you yang tolong jawab. Okay. Alpha sama dengan 2%. That is 0 0.02. So, from here, uh, kita tengok N1 greater than 30, N2 greater than 30. Okay. Sigma 1 and Sigma 2 unknown. So dia jadi kes berapa? Satu atau dua? Kes satu. Kes satu. Okay, betul. Okay. So kes satu, that mean dia akan follow Z distribution. Okay. So from here, uh, state the null hypothesis. What is your H1 and what is your H0? Dia kata adakah benar mean repair cost are less for T999? Okay. 
less meaning that ada tanda lebih lebih apa Oi, tanda apa? So less akan jadi ada tanda lebih kecil. You can akan letak that statement in H1. So mean T triple nine is less than mean X P Y. So this are the thing that we want to test. So dia punya complement adalah mean T triple nine akan jadi lebih besar atau sama dengan mean X P Y. Okay. So this is the H null and H1. Sebab dekat dalam soalan tu dia claim that mean 40 triple 9 is less than XP Y, mean repair cost. So yang kedua, your significant level that is alpha sama dengan 0.02. Okay, from here. Dan step ketiga, calculate your test statistic. So, dia adalah case 1 sebab uh, sigma is unknown. Z akan sama dengan X bar 1 minus X bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by S X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Okay. So, uh, Z akan sama dengan X bar 1 is 4,000 setengah. Okay. Tolak 5,000. Mu1 minus mu2 dia tak bagi. 0. Set bagi S1 squared 550 kuasa 2. Bahagi N1 50. Tambah dengan 650 kuasa 2. Dibahagi dengan 70. Okay. So this is your test statistic. So cuba kira berapa nilai Z. Okay, kira dapat berapa? Negative 4.55 Okay, negative 4.55 Okay Itu step ketiga Step keempat, tengok awak punya Rejection region Saya tak guna p-value, saya guna rejection region uh, Saya tengok H1 Ada tanda lebih kecil Meaning that uh, Probability of Z Less than negative Z Alpha okay. uh, Z uh, Is less than Z alpha okay. Reject H null When Z is less than Negative Z alpha So tengok dekat dalam Table of normal distribution uh, Alpha awak adalah 0.2 So, Z 0.02 dapat berapa? Z 0.02. That is dekat dalam table 0.02 nilai dekat dalam apakah nilai kiri dan juga kanan. So, dapat berapa nilai ni? Tengok dekat dalam table of standard normal. Negatif 2.6 Negatif 2.6 salah Ah, Negatif 2.06 Atau negatif 2.05 Accepted 0. Ha, 0. Ada kosong 
Negatif 2.0 uh, Negatif 2 Poin kosong Lepas tu atas dia Kosong poin kosong kan So hmm. that mean Negatif 2 Poin kosong Okay So kalau awak lukis Dia punya ni Adalah dekat sini Negatif 2 poin Katakan saya ambil Negatif 2 poin kosong 6 Boleh ambil dua-dua eh Poin poin kosong 6 Poin poin kosong 5 So this is the Rejection region So tengok Z sama dengan 4 4.45 dekat sini negatif 4.55 so we can say uh, test statistik okay. z sama dengan negatif 4.55 false in the rejection region okay. so reject h null so kita reject H0 meaning that conclusion will be based on H1. So kita reject H0. So we can conclude that the mean repair cost for T999 cars are less than XP Y Cars Okay So like conclusion kita is based on your H1 So you get this is the conclusion That mean we support the claim The claim is supported So siapa yang nak salin boleh salin dahulu So, kelihatan Melaka macam nak hujan. Bagus juga musim hujan sekarang ni. Sepanjang tahun hujan macam ni syok. Okay, dan Belum. Salin. Dan. Dan, yang lain-lain? Belum, belum. Belum, okay, tak apa. Salin. Ada soalan tak? Kalau ada soalan boleh tanya terus, eh. Jangan malu, jangan segan. Haris Daniel tak ada, eh? Mana kucing aku? Dek, sini dek. 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 Malin. Malin. Saya merajuk. Lambat lagi makan. Okay, done class. Done, done. Done, okay. So, hopefully yang lain done eh. Done lah yang lain. Done tu senyap je. Okay, hypothesis testing for testing the different on mean, mu1 minus mu2. Case 3, we have small sample but Sigma 1 equal to sigma 2 equal to sigma. 
Okay, that means uh, standard population standard division is known, and dia akan sama dengan satu nilai. Okay, so in this case, small sample meaning that population one, a uh, sample one is less than thirty, and sample two also less than thirty. But sigma is the same, is the same for population one and population two. So in this case, the test statistic will follow C distribution table. Okay. Yang mana awak akan dapat uh, test statistic sama dengan X bar 1 minus X bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by S X bar 1 minus X bar 2. So it will follow T distribution with N1 plus N2 minus so, yang ini adalah degree of freedom. Okay. Untuk T distribution. Okay. So, kalau awak tengok untuk T distribution, kita ada uh, degree of freedom. Okay. Kalau Z distribution tak ada. Just bagi dia punya probability. So, tapi S X bar 1, X bar 2 ni, cara kira dia is this one. Okay. S X bar 1 minus X bar 2 equal to S P set 1 over N1 plus 1 over N2. Yang mana SP ini is given by equal to N1 minus 1 darab dengan S1 squared plus N2 minus 1 didarabkan dengan uh, S2 squared bahagi dengan N1 plus N2 minus 2. Okay. So, ini adalah dia punya uh, calculation untuk uh, S of X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Okay. So, dapat eh. Dia punya calculation agak tedious. Sebab kita kena dapatkan SP. Uh, SP is pool standard division. Itu nama dia. Standard division, pool standard division. Dia ada sebab lah. Sebab uh, why we have to use this one because the apa namanya, the population is the same having equal standard division. Okay. So kita nak tengok dekat mana dia punya rejection region and that is based on hypothesis statement. So kalau awak ada hypothesis statement mu1 equal to mu2 versus mu1 does not equal to mu2 or you can also write it as mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0 versus mu1 minus mu2 does not equal to 0. So, ada equal and non-equal sign. This is a two-tail test. So, rejection region is based on T distribution. Okay. So, kita reject as bila test statistik T adalah lebih kecil daripada negatif T alpha per 2 N1 plus N2 minus 2. Atau T lebih besar daripada T alpha per 2 N1 plus N2 minus 2. Okay. Meaning that it will be this two sided dekat belah kiri dan juga dekat belah kanan. So remember eh, T distribution dia sentiasa positif. Tapi untuk buat uh, this one, hypothesis statement, kita letak tanda negatif. So, akan ada negatif T dekat sini and positif T dekat sini. Okay. So, sebab dia two tail, alpha tu is divided into two. Later on, kita akan tengok dia punya example. So, uh, that one is for small sample. Mu1 minus mu2. Okay. Then, kita ada untuk... Uh, mu1 hypothesis statement greater than or equal to mu2 versus mu1 less than mu2. So ini akan dapat dia one tail test sebab ada tanda lebih kecil. So reject H null bila T is test statistik adalah lebih kecil daripada negatif T alpha per 2 N1 plus N2 minus 2. Uh, Negative T alpha. There is no alpha over 2 here. Yeah. Sebab dia one tail. So negative T alpha. So dia punya rejection region is dekat belah sini. Okay. This is negative T alpha. So kita letak tanda negative dekat T distribution. Even though the T distribution is always positive, we just put the negative sign to denote that it is on the left side. 
of the table. So another test, if you have mu 1 less than mu 2 versus mu 1 greater than mu 2. So other than the greater than, still it is also one tail test. Yang mana kita akan reject H null bila test statistik T adalah lebih besar daripada T alpha N1 plus N2 minus 2. That is on the right side of the table. So this is your T alpha. So yang berlorek itu adalah rejection region. Kalau dia jatuh dalam rantau berlorek itu, kita akan reject H null. Otherwise, we will accept the null hypothesis. So saya bagi salin kejap, saya nak salin. Aduh, cuaca mendung pula hari ni. Mendung tak bererti hujan. But most probably it's going to rain. Get done class with this one. Ui, dah ke belum? Dan. Dan nah, lain lain dan ah. Dah ustaz. Dah ustaz dua. Dah ustaz. Dah. Eh saya tadi eh. Ada ada. Ada. Ingat kan dah tidur lagi dah bangun dah. <laughs> Hujan tak Syed sana? Uh, sini mendung ke? Sama macam Melaka. Hmm. Uh, satu Malaysia mendung, satu Semenanjung. Malaysia. Okay, Dan lah. So, itu adalah untuk kes ketiga. So, kita ada the last case for mu1 minus mu2, case 4. Okay, dia still akan follow uh, what we call it uh, T distribution. Small sample meaning that N1 is less than 30 and N2 is less than 30. Okay. But unequal standard deviation and unknown. Meaning that sigma 1 does not equal to sigma 2. Okay. So sigma 1 does not equal to standard uh, deviation for both population. Unequal. Uh, okay. Sigma 1 does not equal to sigma 2 uh, for both population. So from here. Dia punya test statistik still akan follow T distribution X bar 1 minus X bar 2 plus uh, minus mu 1 minus mu 2 over S of X bar 1 minus X2. So it will follow a T distribution with degree of freedom. So S of X bar 1 minus dengan uh, calculation dia sama dengan case 1 dan juga Degree of freedom ni, dia punya degree of freedom, function dia akan jadi a bit tedious. You akan jadi ambil S1 squared over N1 plus S2 squared over for the power of squared, okay, over S1 squared over N1 kuasa 2, N1 minus 1. 2 squared over N2 kuasa dibahagikan dengan N2 minus 1. Okay. So this is the calculation for the degree of freedom. This one okay. So parok jugalah nak kira degree of freedom ni. Uh, awak kira bahagikan lepas tu dengan dia punya pembawah. And then see if sebab degree of freedom must be nombor bulat. Then kita akan bundarkan. If you get a decimal place, then you are going to bundarkan the value of the degree of freedom. Okay, dapat eh? So, 
So dia punya hypothesis statement sama je macam tadi kalau ada two tail test mu1 equal to mu2 versus mu1 does not equal to mu2 or mu1 minus mu2 equal to 0 versus mu1 minus mu2 does not equal to 0. So reject H null when T is less than negative T alpha per 2 T greater than T alpha per 2 dengan degree of freedom kira guna formula tadi. So it will be two tail. Uh, this is your test statistic and the lower low rate tu adalah dia punya negative T alpha over 2 and T alpha over 2. Dia punya rejection region. 1 greater or equal to mu 2 or mu 1 less than mu. So reject H null when T is less than negative T alpha DF. So dekat sini dia punya ni. Okay. Negative T alpha over here degree of freedom is calculated by using the formula. Uh, so this is one tail test and also another one if we have mu1 is less than or equal to mu2 and mu1 is greater than mu2. So kita akan reject when t is greater than t alpha with the degree of freedom. So uh, dia akan jadi belah kanan. Rejection region will be on the right side. That is reject H null when t is greater than t alpha. So itu about case 3 dan case 4. Uh, case 3 nak kira dia punya test statistik awak kena guna SP, full standard deviation. Untuk case 4 pula nak kira dia uh, standard deviation dia is the same formula dengan case 1. Cuma degree of freedom tu yang parok sikit nak buat dia punya calculation. Okay. So kita akan go through satu exercise. Then nanti kita continue dengan another exercise in the next class. That class with this one. Done. 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 Okay. So, kita tengok exercise 8.4. So, the melting point of two substances used in a pharmaceutical process were investigated by melting 15 sample of each substance. So, the sample mean and standard division for substance 1 were X bar 1 sama dengan 95 degree Celsius and S1 equal to 5 degree Celsius. While for substance 2, there were X bar 2 equal to 90 degree Celsius and S2 equal to 4 degree Celsius. Okay. So from here, they kata, assume that the melting temperature for both substance is normally distributed with equal but unknown equal but unknown population standard division that mean the sigma 1 sama dengan sigma 2 sama dengan sigma tapi kita tak tahu nilai ya yeah. so yang ini jadi uh, tengok nanti jadi case case berapa for this one equal but unknown case berapa case 3 Case 3, betul. Okay. This is case 3. Okay. So, uh, construct 98% confidence interval for the difference between the corresponding population mean <coughs> of the two groups. And using 5% significant level, can you conclude that the melting point for both substances are different? So, ini adalah hypothesis testing. Okay. So yang ini pula kita nak buat dia punya confidence in okay. So list down all the information given. So boleh list down. And uh, substance 
one and also substance two. Okay. So substance one and satu sama dengan berapa? And dua sama dengan berapa? And satu berapa kelas? Lima belas. And satu lima belas. And dua pun sama dengan lima belas. Okay. And then X bar 1 sama dengan 95. X bar 2 sama dengan 90. Okay. S1 sama dengan uh, 5. Dan S2 sama dengan 4. Okay. So from here, uh, kita tahu dia follow uh, N1 is less than 30. N2 is less than 30. Okay. Sigma 1 sama dengan sigma 2 sama dengan sigma but it is unknown. So kita tahu this is case 3. Dia akan follow T distribution. Okay. So dia punya confidence interval. Soalan pertama katakan dia suruh buat 98% okay, confidence interval. So, dia akan jadi sama dengan X bar 1 minus X bar 2 plus minus T alpha per 2 uh, N1 plus N2 minus 2 darabkan dengan dia punya S of X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Yang mana yang ini dia akan follow case 3. It will follow the case 3 for this one. Meaning that nak calculate S of X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Dia guna formula SP set 1 per N1 plus 1 per N2. So, cuba kira dia punya SP dulu. SP by formula, it will be equal to N1 minus 1, S1 squared, plus N2 minus 1, S2 squared, over N1 plus N2 minus 2. So, set 15 tolak 1, S1 squared is 5 kuasa 2. Lima belas tambah lima belas dua. So, kira dapat berapa? SP. Poin lima dua. So, berapa berapa SP? Empat poin lima dua tujuh. Tujuh tujuh kan? Dua tujuh ha. Empat poin lima dua tujuh tujuh. Okay. So, then kira S X bar one minus X bar two sama dengan SP set one over N one plus one over N two. That is equal to empat poin lima dua tujuh tujuh set satu per lima belas tambah satu per lima belas. So calculating this one, what do you get? Ada apa-apa kelas? Uh, 
T alpha alpha in here is 0 0.0 0.02 bahagi 2 N1 tambah N2 So dapatkan dekat table of T distribution 0.01 28 So refer dekat table dapat berapa? Apa? Ada dapat? Tengok dekat table of T distribution. 2.467. Yep, betul. Syahada 2.467. Ni jawapan dia. So, the 98% confidence interval, okay, masukkan dalam formula akan sama dengan 95 tolak 90 tambah tolak 2.467 darab 1.653. So, berapa nilai dia? Kosong poin sembilan dua. Kosong satu tiga. Dan lagi satu. Berapa? Sembilan poin kosong tujuh. Lapan tujuh. Sembilan poin kosong tujuh lapan tujuh. So, thank you Syed. Ni jawapan dia. That mean antara kosong poin sembilan dua satu tiga dan juga sembilan poin kosong tujuh lapan tujuh. Dekat dalam ni ada perbezaan antara min 1 tolak min ke 2. Population mean minus uh, population minus 1 minus population for substance 2. Okay. Dalam dia punya uh, dalam dia punya itulah garis nombor. So that is for question A because the question state uh, construct a 98% confidence interval. Okay. So yang dah cuba tengok soalan B, dia kata using 5% significant level, can you conclude that the molting point for both substance are different? Okay. Boleh ke kita katakan, uh, ya? boleh ke kita katakan melting point for both substance, that mean uh, adakah melting point untuk substance 1 berbeza dengan substance 2? So for question B, we have to do the hypothesis testing. So yang dah boleh cuba dulu soalan B. So saya padam ni. So kita tahu dia follow case 3 dan awak dah kira SP semua. So the next one is just buat dia punya hypothesis statement. So 
So soalan B dia kata uh, using 5% significant level. Okay. So adakah terdapat difference? That mean uh, any difference substance 1 and substance 2. So yang ini kalau awak letak dia punya H0 dan juga H1. Yang mana satu kita nak letak? Ada tanda lebih besar ke, lebih kecil ke, equal unequal sign. For this one. Equal. Okay, equal dan unequal sign. So mu1 equal to mu2 mean bagi substance 1 sama dengan mean substance 2 versus mean bagi substance 1 tidak sama dengan mean bagi substance 2. Okay. Any difference equal and unequal. So step pertama. So step kedua uh, significant level. So awak dapat alpha sama dengan 0.05 given in the question. So yang ketiga dapatkan dia punya test statistik. This is case 3. Okay. So test statistik T equal to X bar 1 minus X bar 2 minus mu 1 minus mu 2 divided by S of X bar 1 minus X bar 2. Yang mana S of X bar 1, X bar 2 kita dah kira. Menggunakan full standard division. So you can just calculate straightforward the what we call it the different on the mean. So it will be equal to uh, 95 minus 90 minus 0 divided by 1.6533. So dapat berapa nilai test statistik? Three point zero two. Yep, betul. Tiga point zero two four. So step ke, this is step ketiga. Step keempat, tengok awak punya rejection region. So memandangkan H1 awak ada tanda tidak sama dengan, dia akan jadi two tail test. Okay. So two tail test, that mean uh, reject H null if T less than negative T alpha per 2, N1 plus N2 minus 2, or T greater than T alpha per 2, N1 plus N2 minus 2. Okay. Uh, alpha sama dengan kosong point. 05 ni dah bagi tadi so in this case your alpha equal to uh, 0 0.05 so t alpha per 2 n1 plus n2 minus 2 equal to t 0.025 28 ok 15 tambah 15 30 tolak 2 dapat 28 So, tengok dekat table of T distribution, uh, dapat berapa untuk T 0.025 28? Ya, yep, betul. 2.048. So, if you take a look at this table, 2.048 over here dan juga negatif 2.048 kita letak negatif sign ok walaupun dia positif sebab kita nak dia dua sided so kalau dia jatuh lebih 
kecil daripada 2.048 atau lebih besar daripada 2.048 dan kita akan reject dia null hypothesis. So tengok T sama dengan 3.024. So dia tu dalam rejection or acceptance. Uh, rejection. Rejection. Okay. Betul. So dekat dalam ni. 3.024 jatuh dalam rejection. So, from here kita dapat the test statistic T sama dengan 3.024 false in the rejection region. So, reject H null. Conclusion must be based on H1. Okay. So, uh, we conclude that the melting point The melting point for substance one are different from substance two. Okay, so maksudnya uh, there exists a different substance two at alpha equal to zero point zero five. Okay. So maksudnya melting point bagi substance funds adalah berbeza sebab kita reject H0. Statement yang mengatakan substance one sama dengan substance two tu kita reject. So kita accept uh, H1 yang mengatakan uh, mu1 does not equal to mu2. So from here the conclusion that we can make is for substance one are different from substance two at 0.0 percent level of Thing for two copies. So next class kita akan go through exercise 8.5, 8.6, and then we will take a look into the inference about the proportion, and also we will go through all the exercise in there. Kalau sempat lah, kalau tak sempat saya bagi dapat nahi je. Okay. Or kalau awak nak jalan kerja je, you can lebih tahu lah nanti saya bagi. Even untuk exercise yang chapter 3 tadi, exercise exercise tu ada ada dia punya jalan kerja yang saya buat. Okay. So, if there's no question, ada soalan? Or done or not yet with this one? Nak salin. Nak salin. Okay, salin dulu. If tengah salin, salin dulu. Bukan apa, sedap petang ya. Eh? Dana. Dan dan. Dan. Dan lain dan. 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 Okey. 
So if ada soalan tak ada soalan. If there is no question kita continue hari Jumaat. Okay. So selamat berbuka. Walaupun ada lagi beberapa jam pukul 10. But another 10 hours. Okay Danai this one. So thank you class. Hai. Senyap semua. Tidur balik. Thank you Miss. Thank you Reza. Okay. Apa semua tak ada semangat. <laughs> Okay, then I'll